Hi students, now coming to the next important topic in the chapter Python operators and variables that is programming in Python. In Python, programs can be written using two modes. What are they? First one is interactive mode, interactive mode and second one is script mode. If you need to write Python codes, you can choose any one of these modes. Okay. So first let us see about interactive mode. How will you start this interactive mode? Click start. All programs. Python 3.x and select idle Python 3.x version. So, you have to select these options to use Python 3.x version. Okay, this version name is Idle Python 3.x. You can download this Idle Python 3.x version from the website www.python.org. So, you can download this Python programming language Idle from the website www python.org okay uh, what is the full form of idle idle integrated development learning environment learning environment what is the full form of ide integrated development learning environment okay so you can download this python programming language from this website after downloading this python software you can type your python codes using any one of these two modes okay in this interactive mode you can write python codes in python command prompt okay this python prompt always appears on the screen it indicates it is ready to accept instructions okay so you have to write python codes here after writing codes you will get the results of codes immediately you will get the output immediately which means if you want to add two numbers in the command prompt 5 and 10 okay so you have to write your code here 5 plus 10 after typing the numbers just press enter key okay just press enter key it displays the results immediately on the next line okay uh, 5 plus 10 what 15 it displays results immediately on the next line okay if you want to get immediate results you can use this interactive mode method okay you can say this interactive mode as a symbol calculator let's see another one example write your code here 5 plus 50 into 10 to display its results immediately on the next line okay what is the result 5 not 5 let's see another one example 5 square 5 square means output what 25 suppose if you want to print your name or print any one statement or sentence write like this okay print if you want to print python programming language statement okay how will you write python print python programming language so when you're giving this statement you will get the output python programming language you will get the output like this okay uh, which means it prints this sentence okay so these are single line codes okay now i'm going to write four to five lines of code x equal to 10 y equal to 20 and z equal to x plus y now you have to print the sum is set okay so what is the output of this code this sum is equal to 
is it means what is it equal to x plus y x is 10 y is 20 10 plus 20 30 so is it is what 30 so the sum is equal to 30 this is the output okay so see here if you want to write single line of code or four to five lines of code you can choose this interactive mode method okay but if you want to write long pieces of code you have to choose script mode because see here this is one line code suppose if that code has any errors you have to rewrite that code again okay if that is single line of code it is easy to write code again and again but if it is long pieces of code again and again rewriting that long code is very difficult at that situation we go for script mode in this interactive mode you are not saving your code you are just writing your code and getting results immediately if any mistakes are there in that code you have to rewrite that code again because you are not saving your file whereas in script mode uh, you are typing your code and you are saving your code okay so if there is any mistake in that code you can edit that mistakes easily okay because you are saving your file and you can also reuse that code again and again so this is script mode okay basically a script is a text file containing python statements the scripts are executable statements okay the scripts of reusable codes okay reusable codes once script is created it can be executed again and again without retyping so the scripts are editable okay how will you start the script mode to open python shell window click file menu and select new file option okay click file menu and select new file option otherwise press ctrl plus n and this is the keyboard shortcut for opening python shell window okay when you're giving this option one untitled blank script editor will be displays on the screen in that blank screen you have to type your code for example a is equal to 100 b is equal to 350 and c is equal to a plus b print the sum c after that save this code okay for that choose file save option okay choose file menu and select save option otherwise press the keyboard shortcut ctrl plus s you all know that how to saving a file then save as dialog box appears in that dialog box select the location where you want to save your python code location means what select your disk drives d e any drives if you want to store your python code in the local disk d you can select local disk d otherwise select local disk e select any location that you want to store that file okay and after that type the file name in the file name box okay file name means what for file name you can give any name to your code okay but you have to give your file name with the extension dot py this py is nothing but first two letters of python okay py you can give any name to your file if you are giving your file name as rose write rose and don't forget to give the extension dot py okay if you are giving the file name program give the extension dot py okay don't forget to give file extension okay this file extension is nothing but and it describes which type of file that is okay uh, this is python program so you are giving dot py extension if it is html program you have to give the extension dot html okay if it is java program you have to the extension dot java uh, if it is c program you have to give the extension dot c so whatever program you are using that every program needed to specify file extension 
so after giving the file name finally click the save button to save your code after saving your code you have to run that code to get the output for that click run menu select run module option okay otherwise press the keyboard shortcut f5 give run run module option otherwise press f5 button if your code has any error it will be shown in red color in the ideal window okay to correct that errors go back to script editor shell window make corrections and save again okay if errors are not present in your code the output will be displayed on the screen so what is the output of this code a is equal to 100 b is equal to 350 c is equal to a plus b a plus b means 100 plus 350 so the output is the sum is equal to c what a plus b that is 450 so this is the output okay if errors are not present in your code this output will be appears on the screen okay so what is the difference between interactive mode and script mode uh, this interactive mode is good for beginners okay but the script mode is used for beginners and experts also and in this interactive mode you are not saving your code so if any mistakes are present in your code you have to retype again and again the same code okay if it is short code it is easy to rewrite again and again that code but it is long pieces of code it is very difficult to rewrite the old command again okay but in script mode you are saving your file so you have to reuse that code uh, and you can easily edit if any mistakes are present in your code okay so this is about interactive mode and script mode okay i hope now you understood this is very important question uh, interactive mode programming and script mode programming so you study well for your exam thank you